Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and today Dead by Daylight tweeted out that they're making some changes to the upcoming chapter with this tweet. We're making some changes to the Binding of Kin following the PTB. For full details, click here, and when you click that link, it takes you to the official forums where Peanuts has lovingly written us this article about the changes, so let's check it out. It's been a little over a week since Chapter 18 hit the player test build and we've prepared some changes based on the feedback we've received. We would like to make these changes clear before the chapter releases so you can make an informed decision about your purchase. Fair. As the release approaches, our time to make these changes are limited. As a result, some of the intended changes will arrive in future updates. Furthermore, please remember that there is a list of known issues available at the bottom of the PTB patch notes, which can be found here. Fixing some of these issues will alter the effectiveness of the twins and the perks in the process. Please note that the changes listed below are tentative and their release date and exact details are subject to change. Release. The twins made the map wide sound when Victor is released clearer. And after being attached to a survivor for 45 seconds, Charlotte will see Victor's aura and be able to recall him. Sometimes a survivor would keep Victor on their back to prevent the killer from using their power. This way, there's a great risk to doing so, and the killer has the ability to forcefully regain their power after some time. Yeah, this was a strategy that we tested out in the public test build to see um, what it would be like to hold Victor hostage and not remove him and just run around with him on your back for an extended period of time and effectively taking her power away from her. So now with this change, um, Charlotte will be able to see where the survivor is by seeing Victor's aura on their back. So then they'll have the choice of either going towards that survivor and downing them and getting Victor back manually or recalling him automatically. Um, so that's interesting. I think that was a necessary change. So that's a, that's a good one there. Replace the spinning top add-on effect. This will now cause survivors to drop their items when pounced on by Victor. So it's like a built-in Franklin surmise. That's pretty cool. Increase Victor's movement speed while charging a pounce and increase the amount of time it takes to reach this movement speed. Due to the slow movement speed while pouncing, hitting a survivor with Victor while they are around a small enough loop or object could be very difficult. These two changes will cause you to lose less distance while charging your pounce, making it easier to use in those situations. All right, I like that. Perks. Coup de Grasse. Reduce the lunge increase from 60, 80, or 100% to 40, 50, or 60%. Some of those lunges were crazy at 100%. So I can see why they uh, reduced that. The values for coup de grace on the PTB were higher than anticipated. We'll be reducing them to a more reasonable level. Okay, future updates and hot fix. Let's see. The twins. Victor will be able to interact with lockers and hold a survivor inside for a short amount of time. If Charlotte interacts with the locker in time, she'll grab the survivor. If the survivor is not grabbed out of the locker in time, they'll break free, crushing Victor in the process. During the PTB, survivors realized that they can jump in a locker to avoid Victor since he is unable to search lockers. To prevent this, we'll be giving Victor a unique interaction with lockers. This will take some animation work, however, so this will not be ready for the initial release. Okay, so it says future updates. So it sounds like I'm not sure if just the animation isn't going to be ready or the barring of the locker. Not entirely sure the way this is written. So Victor's going to be able to hold the survivor in the locker and give Charlotte some time to get there. So perhaps the uh, ability for Victor to bar the locker will be ready right away, but the animation won't. I imagine something like Victor jumping on the locker and grabbing the two handles and holding it shut until the survivor can um, break out. Hmm, be interesting. This would be, I'd like to see what this would look like in combination with Iron Maiden, especially since Iron Maiden is on the list of one of the perks to be reworked in the near future. So 
I already experienced the twins that were running Iron Maiden in the PTB. So if uh, if Victor can in fact hold a survivor inside of a locker in time for Charlotte to approach, and then once they get out, even if she isn't able to get out there and pull them out, if they get out on their own, and then they have Iron Maiden, I think that's a pretty interesting combo there. So they'll be like, oh no, I got out of the locker before Charlotte got me, but now I'm one hit down from Iron Maiden. That could be interesting. Okay, adding a delay to the exit gate blocker when a survivor is down with Victor on their back. Currently, the exit gate blocker disappears immediately if a survivor with Victor on their back is downed. This allows them to crawl out before Charlotte can finish wiping her weapon. This delay ensures that the Victor, that the survivor, can be picked up before the blocker disappears. Yeah, so there was really no drawback to having Victor on your back at the exit gate because, sure, you couldn't leave, but then it forced Charlotte to come up and down you, and then, as it says, then the blocker disappeared and you just crawled out. So it didn't prevent you from leaving in any way. So that was a very necessary change. You definitely don't want to get Victor on your back near the exit gate anymore because you are going to get picked up. That's pretty good. That's a definite, definitely was a needed change. Okay, now perks. Appraisal. The speed bonus no longer applies to unlocking a chest, only rummaging. Okay, so you can research a chest, like search it again, faster, but not the initial opening. Appraisal. Each chest can only be rummaged once per survivor. <laughs> Dang it! Oh man, there were a few games where I was running appraisal and I would just go down in the basement and pull like four items out of a chest and just lay them all about. So that's too bad. Uh, so each chest can only be rummaged once per survivor. So you can rummage every chest on the map. Well, I guess not everyone because you only have a certain number of tokens, but um, multiple chests across the map can be rummaged. You just can't rummage the same chest over and over again. Like, hey, how'd you guys miss all this stuff? There's like 73 items in here. This change prevents someone from rummaging the same chest multiple times, creating a large pile of items. Want to encourage people to move around the map and rummage different chests. The overall number of times you can rummage is unchanged. So yeah, you still keep the same amount of tokens. You just have to go it around, go use it around different chests on the map. Uh, I Personally, I think that's going to affect the, the pick rate on that perk, but... That's just me. Okay, so we got a little bit more here. Again, we want to reiterate that these changes are tentative. The exact details and times for these changes may vary from the list above. We hope these changes address any concerns you may have had, and we can't wait for you to get your hands on Chapter 18. All right, very cool. So, yeah, I like, uh, I like those changes. I think a lot of people were very afraid that Coup de Grasse was going to become quite strong at the 100%. So it may still be quite strong. But yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm uh, very curious to see when the chapter drops how this whole um, trapping of the, the survivor in the locker is going to work initially. Or if it's going to have to wait for an update. Like, uh, I hope it's ready right away and just the animation will be missing. Like, maybe he'll just stand there and he'll use his power to bar the survivor in. And the animation will be what comes later, but I'm not entirely sure the way this is written. But yeah, I think these are all good changes. It's going to make the, the chapter better. So, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to share it with all of you on release date. Okay, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.